God is good. Questions? Seeking answers? Ask Sister Georgie. Hello, hello, hello. This is Sister Georgie from Mississippi. By way of Jamaica with Indy. How y'all doing today? Yeah, God is good. All the time and all the time, God is good. I hope you having a great day so far. Yes, we up. Oh my goodness, thank the Lord. We made it to another day. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? How the time is flying. Oh my God, we almost at we at the end. We're almost at the end. This is our last Saturday in April. Wow, we're moving so fast, y'all. Now we're moving into May, which is Mother's uh, Mother's Month. Oh, my goodness. That is recognized as Mother's Month. Wow. So, oh, my goodness. This is just really something. Time is moving so fast. Yes. But I'm so glad to be here again to, to share with you, celebrate Black women in history. There is so many Things that black women have put forth. Yes, I'm going to do some other ones later on. I'm not just sticking to just black, but I'm just pushing that forward for now. All right. So, it's George, you like to keep balance. Okay. God, not only did black women do things, Caucasian women did some great things as well. So, we didn't want to leave them out. Okay. And I'm going to bring some things about the men as well as time goes on. So, bear with me. Baby, Sister Georgie, I'm going to bring as much information out here for y'all to understand. There's so much things to, to really push you to greatness. You, you ain't got no excuse. No excuse as to why you can't aspire to something great and powerful and make your mark on society. All right? Okay, don't leave this world, you know, do something to make it a better place. Let you, your name be up in lights for something. And whether it, it you, you put it out there now and may not happen until you're gone, who knows? Just put it out there, y'all. Put it out there. The universe is waiting for you. Why keep it bottled up inside? Come on. You got a story, you got something you can give, something you can write, something you can do to better your community, better your world. Come on, start something. Start a revolution of something great that you, that it has your name on it, has your, your, your all your ideas into it, and you bring people in it to push them, you know? So God is waiting on you to step out in faith. All right, before we go further, of course, our scripture is Proverbs 31, verse 17, reading from the New King James Version. It reads, she girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God is awesome. He can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strengthen where I've been weakened, forever he will reign. My God is awesome. Awesome, awesome, 
My God is awesome, Savior of the whole world, giver of salvation, by his stripes unhealed. My God is awesome, today I am forgiven, his grace is why I am living, praise his holy name. My God is awesome. He's mighty. He's holy. And he's awesome. My God is awesome. He's mighty. He's holy. Yes, he's awesome. My God is awesome. He can move your mountains, keep you in the valley, and hide you from the rain. Our God is awesome. He heals you when you're broken. Strength where you're been weakened. Praise his holy name. Our God is awesome. When you're feeling weak and you don't know you can do it, he's awesome. When you feel like giving up, he's awesome. When you feel like throwing the towel, he's awesome. Our God is truly awesome. Our God is good, oh. 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 Yes, he's truly Truly awesome. All right, y'all. I, you know, since the dogs, I can put a spin on certain things, you know, certain songs, I can put a little something to spin as the spirit leads me. I kind of bring it up a little notch. Yes, especially with the dogs, you're feeling so wonderful in the spirit so early in the morning, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Let me take a sup of my tea. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We're going to pray now. Father, we adore your name. Thank you for your awesomeness, your greatness, your kindness. Thank you for your faithfulness towards your people. We pray that you will touch us. We pray you'll anoint us. We pray you push us for greatness. Let us recognize who we are and whose we are in you. And we thank you, Father. For answering our prayers, we thank you, God, for blessing this segment. We thank you for everybody watching, whether now or later, or listening, whatever they're doing, Lord Jesus. We ask you, Father, that something from what you I've said, Lord Jesus, can help to spark something positive in someone to make them go out and do something to change their family, change their generation. Just change it and make a difference. Leave their mark on society. And Lord, I pray today that you will continue to strengthen us, continue to keep us in your perfect peace. And we say thanks in with the Father, and with the Son, and with the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. I got another person. I mean, she for some somebody I was when I was looking through the uh uh you know cousin Google, okay I'm gonna call it call it that. You know, I came across this great woman. Okay, I'm I you know I'm gonna try to pronounce her name. She is a Nigerian billionaire business woman. Hear it now. She's a Nigerian billionaire business woman. Hello, 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 hello. 
Her name is Foloro Roncho Aliqua. Alik Alik Alija. Okay, that's how I feel I pronounce. She was born July 15th in 1951. She is involved in the fashion, oil, real estate, and printing industries. Here's a picture of her. Maybe you can get her name. Try to pronounce it because it took me a while to learn to pronounce it. All right. It's a picture of her. She is the group managing director of the Rose of Sharon Group, which consists of the Rose of Sharon Prints and Promotions Limited. I, I, I enjoy listening to her, reading her story. Digital um, Reality Prints Limited and the Executive Vice Chairman of FAMFA Oil Limited. This woman ain't no joke, y'all. Wait till I listen to all that she did. She also has a majority stake in Day Spring Property Development Company. Ali Ja is ranked as the richest woman in Nigeria with an estimated net worth of $1 billion. You hear this? All right. As of 2015, was it just about a few years ago? She is listed as the second most powerful woman in Africa. A woman, y'all. Hello. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And the 87th most powerful woman in the world. What? Hey, come on now. Come on now. Wow. Second most powerful woman in Africa. A woman now. And the 87th most powerful woman in the world. Uh oh. I tell you, women, we got it going on, y'all. We got it going on. Yes. Come on, look at the women in NASA. Oh, come on. All those women, look at them. We got it going on. And here, this woman, uh, uh, Miss Aliqua, Alija, Alija, she, she joined the ranks. Yes, yes. Her early life and education, Miss Alija was born on, the, uh, on as we said, it, she was born in 1951 in Accor, uh, Accor du Lagos. Her family was a large one as her father, Chief L.A. Orgbara, had 52 children born to him by his eight wives. Oh, my goodness. Wow. At an early age of seven, she was relocated by her parents to the U.K., where she had a primary education at Durban School of Girls. So in Africa, you allow their, their uh, customs you could have more than one wife. But God said only one wife, but that's their customs. Okay? All right. By 1963, after her primary education, she returned back to Nigeria, where she had her secondary education at the Muslim High School in Sagamo, Ogan State. On graduation from high school, she returned back to England, where she enrolled at Pittman Central College. London to study secretarial studies. Miss Mrs. Alija originally officially began her career journey in 1974, where she looked at Swade Enterprises as an executive secretary. I used to be a secretary, as I said in my early years before becoming a teacher. Her next point was the First National Bank of Chicago, now FCMB. She worked there for a couple of years before she establishing her first fashion firm, Supreme Stitches. Okay. 1984, she went back to United Kingdom to take a one-year course in fashion designing. It was upon her return that she established her fashion firm. Okay. The company thrived successfully, and a few years later, it was renamed to Rose of Sharon wrote house of fashion okay my mother was uh does fashion and my daughter she's a fashionista uh, where she is in atlanta she's doing very well so this just connects to thinking about my daughter my mother was the first she was into fashion when we came to this country 
and was through the fashion that helped us to be here because she was a great seamstress. And my daughter picked up from that, and now my daughter is blowing it up, and she's a fashionista in the in the state, I believe, of Georgia. Yes, yes. And, okay, so as her, therefore making a proper fashion line, Okay, so she has that connection. This is all my family. As her successes and influence in fashion grew, she was later made the national president of the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria. This is powerful. She was also a longtime trustee with the association. During her term in the office, she dedicated her resources to promote Nigerian culture through fashion. So she was helping other people, you know, uh, to recognize who they are and put them forth to the limelight. Okay, in the early 1900s, Miss uh, Mrs. Alija decided it was time to expand her business tenants, ten tentacles to oil. So she went from fashion to oil and gas. Oh, check her out now. Oh, wow. Very smart lady. Her company, FAMFA Limited, was incorporated in 1791. Oh, she wasn't playing. The company applied for an oil prospect and license to explore a $617,000 acre block for oil. Wow. The company was awarded the lease hold right of the, of the Opal 216 oil block. And by 1996, it was officially renamed FAMFA Oil Limited. Its goal is to be at the forefront of indigenous oil and gas exploration and production in Nigeria. Oh, this woman was a jump. Miss Alicia got on board the exploration of a major deep water oil field located 1,500 meters off the Niger Delta. Okay, she gained access by partnering with Star Deep Water Petroleum, a subsidiary of Texaco. We used to have that here in the United States, no longer exists, through a joint venture agreement. FAMFA Oil Limited then appointed Star Deep Waters Petroleum as its official technical advisor for the OPL 216 exploration license. Wow. And at one point, you know, there's a whole lot to read here. She, uh, the government tried to take over, you know, some of her oil, um, you know, subsidiaries. And she had fought, she fought back against the government in court by laying claims to a 50% stake in her company. They wanted to take, they want to take part of it, you know, it was initially 40%, but the government later returned to as for an additional 10%. So they were trying to claim uh, some rights to it. They claimed that the company generated daily revenue of $10 million from the oil block. All right. So in response to this, Miss, Miss Alija uh, said, we felt like it was unfair. We had taken the sole risk, invested everything we had in the, in the business. It had become a family business. So she spent six, six years of the family to do, ensure this worked out. And now that it's bearing fruit, they just stepped in and took away everything we had struggled and worked extremely hard for. But she did not stop. She pushed on and she persevered and she got through it. All right. So the other businesses, Rose of Sharon Prince and Promotions, Digital Re Realty Print Limited, and Day Spring Property Development Company. Philanthropy. Okay, her success story would not be complete without an account of her tremendous impact on society, her desire to help people. Oh, I, oh, I, I like that. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. I love that. Oh, I connect to that. Yes, 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 yes. To meet the needs of others and to see people succeed inspired her to create the Rose of Sharon Foundation. In 2008, the Rose of Sharon Foundation which concerned the empowerment of widows and orphans by providing them with the necessary resources and skills. That's wonderful. Needed to navigate through life. So she ain't forget the widows now and the orphan children, the children who had no parents. Basically, the foundation awards grants and scholarships to widows and orphans within the, in the country so they can build it themselves and, and be all that they can be. Hallelujah. This is just wonderful. Okay. Adira, uh, 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 
Chija also hands out yearly scholarships to 9,000 medical and engineering students across the nation. By July 2013, she was appointed as the vice chairman of the Nigerian National Heritage Council and Endowment for the Hearts. 2014, she was listed as the 96th most powerful woman in the world. 2015, she was listed among the 100 most powerful women in the world. With, with that, she became Miss Alicia, has the 87th on the list. On the 9th of March, 2016, she was made the chancellor of Aljan State University, making her the first female chancellor in the history of Nigeria. Well, we have all these firsts in history, y'all. Women became the first in, in a lot of things. Wow, as you as I've been reading, this is really powerful. The foundation also donated a total of 21 chest clinics for treatment of tuberculosis in 21 states across Nigeria, including the Niger Delta region and Lagos State. They have also successfully donated four e-libraries and two school libraries to schools within the nations. Wow, she's, she's really powerful. Miss Alija, she married a lawyer. His name was Madupe Alija of the Ado, uh, the Ado Yomo Alija family, okay, in 19, November 1976. They reside in Lagos, Nigeria, with their four sons and their grandchildren, okay? This is really wonderful, all right? So her position, awards, and recognition. Miss Alija holds six honorary degrees and a fellowship at Yaba College of Technology. She became the first female chancellor in Oshan State University and Nigeria's first female chancellor on the 9th of March. She is 2016. She is one of Lagos Business School alumnus and member of the Commonwealth and Investments Council Advisory Board. She is on the advisory board at the Center for African Studies, Harvard, 2014 and 2015. She was on the Ford's list of the most powerful women in the world. July 2013, inauguration of the National Heritage Council and Endowment for the Arts. Miss Alija was appointed vice chairman of the committee. Wow, this woman is something else. Recognized as one of the champions of African American and entrepreneurship, and entrepreneurship, she was named chief matron of Africa's young entrepreneurs. Okay, she is a public speaker, a writer, and has also authored several inspirational books. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Her dedication to the Nigerian fashion industry earned her the presidential seat at the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria. And after serving two terms, she is now a lifelong trustee of the association. 2014, she was named the richest woman from an African descent, a position that was previously occupied by Oprah Winfrey. And we all know Oprah Winfrey is. In conclusion, Miss Elijah's success story is a tale of hard work, persistence, yes, Courage and the will to break through barriers. I've been reading that with so many women breaking through barriers and barriers and barriers of racism and you know inequality for women. Okay, I mean they broke through no matter what was going on, they pressed through. Okay, that's say that's sending a message to us. That's telling you something, young women. Come on. And young men as well. I'm not leaving y'all out. Yes. All right. She, she did not only create a $2 billion enterprise, but has crafted a legacy that will last for generations. Yes. And generations and generations to come. So it's never going. So she put her mark on society. She's leaving her legacy for her children, her children, children, and so on and so forth. So it's not going to run out. It's not going to stop. Come on. Okay, she has succeeded in building her empire, marriage, and raising an upstanding family. Still fully active in the business world, she is involved in the management and strategic planner for oil and real estate companies, Farm for Limited and Day Street Property Development Company. 
the 67 year old. She's only 67 years old. Wow. Mogul is the group manager director of the Rose of Sharon Group and the executive chairman at Fab for All Limited. She's a living proof that success is not limited by gender. Are you hearing this? I'm going to repeat that again. She is living proof that success is not limited by gender, being a female or your age for that matter. Okay, young, middle, older, you can start something. It's okay. The national, it, it doesn't have nothing to do with your gender, your age, your nationality, or your financial background. Okay? Where there's the will, there's a way. But rather, success is the product of courage to take risk and stand up strong in the face of adversity. I've been saying it all along, y'all. Okay? In the midst of pain and suffering, keep going, keep pressing, keep building, keep growing. Don't stop. Okay, don't stop. This this woman, Miss Alicia, she 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 proved again, like the other women, okay, that it can be done. Okay, that you can be great, that you can let go of the weight that so he is easily beset you and hold you down. Okay, you could pull up yourself by the bootstraps, okay. And just go. Get up. Get an idea. Write your book. Do something. Do something. All right? Do a daycare center. Something. Something. Put your proposal together. Come on. Something you can do. Start a little league baseball team. Female baseball team. A male baseball team. Do something. Okay, start doing something, something that is a passion for you, something that can help you to grow, can, you know, that's inspirational, that's doing something to make a difference in our communities and our world. Come on, we're waiting for you. You know, this woman, another great woman, okay, that pushed through barriers. And look where she is today. You know, so, and even if you don't have, she had good support, good family support. And even if you don't have good support, hey, you can still do it. Hey, I'm a living example. God, you see who, oh, you see who I am today? It was God who helped me. So if you ain't got no family around and nobody to really give you advice and push you, ask the Lord to help you. And God will lead people to you to, to, to help to get your ideas out. And he give you prop different things for it to come forth. Different arenas, different avenues, things will come forth. Okay? All you got to do is put your faith and your confidence and your trust in God. And it will work itself out. All these women didn't get to where they are without faith in God. Because... Without faith, it's impossible to please God. It's impossible to push through anything. You gotta have faith that you that it can be done. Okay. And of course, you're gonna have obstacles in the way, but you're not gonna give up. I don't care what's going to rest if you must, but don't you give up. Every day you get up, you work on your dream. And one day it will be realized. So thank you so much, y'all, for listening. Oh my goodness. What is the time go? It was a pleasure talking to you today. And this is another day that the Lord has made. But I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want you not only to subscribe, I want you to like. I want you to share it. I want you to comment on the page. You know, I want you to send some information to uh, my um, email address at wamuministries at gmail.com. Or you could write me at P.O. Box 2077, uh, Mount Vernon, New York, 10551. And you can connect also to the website, WAMOE.org. Okay? And you can look at all the beautiful gifts I have behind me here. Mother's Day is coming up. And I would love for you to support this ministry. 
uh, for Pastor Faye. Yes, and to help to bring, um, you know, more more awareness of who God is, and people be all that they can be. You know, let me take up one more of these. Let me take up one of these. I didn't take up this one last time. Yeah, I think I took up this one. Yes, but anyway, I'll take. Okay, this one has a uh, little something, something up in there now. Now I gotta have a little something. Oh uh, my God, this one here got a little, little picking up in there. Let's see what this? You see, closer what that is. All right, you got a little something up in there. This is a nice, unique one. Okay, this one has a lot of different goodies up in there. Next for the body for. Nourishment of the inside and the outside. And if you like coffee, yes, and you like the nails done, all that stuff is in there. Okay, and a little something to pick, pick you up, all right? Okay, so these are um, what Sister Georgie does. Sister uh, uh, Apostle Faith does. You try to support her in, in, in trying to make somebody's life special. Okay, so I'm so glad, glad that you joined in, and I pray that you go to the Excel Project at the website, WAMOE.org. You can just put in the Excel Project.com, T H E E X C E L Project.com. Take you directly there to the website, you know, and there's so much great things on that website. I love there's a school there as well, and we thank God for the uh, honorable. Uh, um, Tyree Woodson Samuels of the Westchester County uh, Legislators that's been so supportive in helping to push some of these projects that we have on the website as the Excel project. They have pushed that and that has supported us in bringing about these great um, information that you see there on the on the site. Um, we have the school, different things that, you know, when you want to get into, we have a, we have a baking and cooking, you know, and, you know, you know, if you get a certificate, different things can, you know, happen for you if you really want to push for it. And even I have my books on the side. You have all these books here. And if you want some counseling, you go to the website. You need some therapy sessions. Go to the website. You've got some issues. You want to work through some, some situations that are bothering you. Connect to the website, WAMOE.org, and put in for counseling. All right, and Apostle Faith there will help you. All right, so again, I thank you so much for joining in today. Yes, this is in Georgia from Mississippi by way of Jamaica, West Indies. And I just want to say that our Father prayer, our Father child in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it's done in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. It is not temptation, but deliver us from evil. But thou the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So I'm so thankful to be here on today. So I want you to have a wonderful day and a wonderful week until we meet, meet again. Know that I love you and Jesus love you more. Bye bye. Hey, 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 hey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day because I'm certainly having one. And I just want to talk a little bit about the Excel project. The Excel project has been on my heart for so many years. I've launched it in 2014 and it's just, I've been asking God, when is this going to come forth? So I, 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 you know, since I joined the virtual network and, you know, in after the pandemic started in 2020, April, 2020, I mean, it's been a blessing. So little by little, it, things get unfolding. Oh my goodness. And I'm so excited to see it come to fruition. I love when I see a young man, a young woman doing something positive. Oh, I go out of my way to help them as much as I can because it really needs 
somebody to push them and help them to grow and build. Yes, so we have the IAC accredited uh, certificate, certificate courses. Yes, and that's a, a standard continued education and training. Uh, it's a universal model for for um, helping for learning process excellence. So this is something that the students, they get a certificate after they finish the program. So they feel good. So it's like a six month course, you know, and we have different people will be training them from different parts of where you don't have to be um, anywhere in the world. You can get this um, done. You get the, you can do this program, sign up for this program, and it will certainly help you because, you know, we have to say about youth because the youth is our future. Because everybody is born with a purpose and a plan. But we got to find out what is it we need to do. I always talk to the students when I say to them, what is your passion? And some of them don't know what it is to have a passion. So I said to them, what is it you, when you were young? Let's go back to when you were young. What is it you like to do? You know, and I would sometimes it was kind of puzzled. So I kind of give a little, did you draw? Did you, um, you know, do little cartoons? Did you have a little journal? You draw some little papers you do. What is it you do? And they started thinking, did you like what you do? Did you write down, did you like to do portraits? You write down things that you were dealing with in your life. I mean, there there are things that you were doing and didn't realize it. Did you like to make things? Did you like to uh, pull things apart and put them back together? And then some of them say, yes, yes, I did that. Oh, so, so that's a passion. Did, did you like to sing? You like to dance, you know? And, and some of them say, yes, I like to cook. So there you go. Yes. We got to, you know, change the way we think. You know, because we have to work as a team, you know, in order to help our young people to grow because our children are our future. And we got to make sure the future is bright and uh, and we have to be the adults to help them, to push them to where they need to be. And thank you so much for listening and God bless. Sponsored by Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Have questions? Seeking answers?